Okay, so I just finished doing a um, bypass on my clutch disconnect switch on my 2000 F350 Super Duty. I imagine um, the switch is probably the same for all the power strokes and probably any of that like first gen Super Duties. And it might apply to other trucks, I don't know. I uh, didn't really see a whole lot out there online about um, about this guy and how to bypass it. A couple people said you can just like unplug this and the plug in, I guess, whatever little connector the automatic trucks have but um it's actually you know pretty simple to bypass this guy um you know it is important to remember why your truck has this and that it is kind of dangerous to bypass it i just had to do the heim joint repair on my uh, clutch master cylinder and after doing the repair and doing a little tack weld on it it'll actually when you fully depress the clutch it'll hit this guy um plus i'm not a big fan of clutch safety switches anyway um, but a lot of what I read that I could find said you would lose crews. You know, obviously some people said just, you know, shove a, uh, a bolt or something in here so the switch is closed all the time. But then your computer thinks the clutch is always depressed and it'll kick your crews out. So, um, I checked it out with the voltmeter and I made this little diagram here. Um, this top column is when the clutch is in the resting position, not depressed. And then this bottom is when the clutch is in the depressed position. So I just took an ohms meter and tested the switch. Uh, all the contacts, there's six contacts in here. Uh, I checked all six in the rested position. I checked all six in the engaged position. Just shoved a bolt in there and held it. So what I found was in the resting position, pins three and four are uh, closed. So in the resting position, pins three and four are closed. In the open position, or sorry, sorry, in the, in the uh, depressed position, um, your foot's on the clutch. One and two have continuity, and five and six have continuity. Now, on this harness, five and six are unused. So I don't know if that's the same with all the trucks, but it is, you know, on this one, five and six are unused. So basically what that tells me is, you know, you got basically what's being used is a two-pole, two normally open, normally closed switch. Um, and what I'm figuring is... Uh, obviously, when one and two have continuity, the truck, you know, you can you can turn the key and the truck will start. When one and two don't have continuity, um, you turn the key, the truck won't do anything. You know, it doesn't think your foot's in the clutch. Three and four is uh, in the resting position. Your foot's not on the clutch. And these guys are what's telling cruise control uh, whether or not it can run. So it's actually a pretty simple, pretty easy bypass job. You just can, uh, you just bond one and two bond three and four um once you once you basically i just cut these guys off and but connected them together on the truck side uh you could do a switch you could do whatever but um you know you bond one and two then your truck can and will start without the clutch depressed you bond three and four and your cruise control always works now note the uh the truck has no way of knowing if you push in the clutch with cruise control on to disengage. So if you push, if you do this and you push in the clutch with cruise engaged, it's going to probably rev the truck to the moon. Um, so there's definitely some some danger in, uh, incorporated with doing this. But if you know how to drive and aren't completely forgetful like me, you'll probably be fine. Anyway, yeah, it's probably a bad idea to do this, but I couldn't find the information out there anywhere. Um, uh, I guess now it's out there.